Today I received several bags of purge clothing and I went through it and I got about over the two bags I got about a bag's worth of stuff that I added to my stash of clothing that I will cut up for rugs. But this is one of the things I like to do. I had this pretty like t-shirt material dress that came in. This is kind of a peachy orange with some lighter oranges, a steel blue with some navy blue and I thought that would be a beautiful rug. So what we're gonna do, this is some other stuff that came in that purged bag which I thought would go nice with this color combination. Um, I'm not quite sure about this because I'm pretty sure when I cut it it's gonna go white but it'll have a little pattern and there is some white in here so maybe we'll keep that. So I already got a steel blue but I do want more steel blue than anything. So, my beautiful assistant. So, when we're done, it's going to look like this style rug. So, this is a sunset kind of looking rug from leftover bits I had. So, my beautiful assistant, Aurora, there Hi. she is, is going to take this for reference. For reference. And then, this is my stash closet of clothing that would have landed in the landfill. So, I got them from thrift stores, family, friends. Once people know you make rugs, it will never end. Okay, so this is not even the jeans. The jeans, I'll swing through. Here's the continuous warp, the loom. The jeans are up there. And then I have a bunch inside. And then of course, these totes are our jeans, different stages of cutting them down and color them. So that is the weaving room real fast. Okay, so Miss Aurora, yeah. please pick out some clothing or material. I think um, that blanket right there in front of you on that shelf down right there. That one? Yes. That will work. That's it's, a fleece blanket it's, and it's like it looks like it should be a little more purple, kind of like this. We're gonna get close to or it. Like so why don't you pull rain. that out? I don't want to make anything else. Right. So we'll do that because that'll give us a lot of face. Now, go at it. Okay. So anything I have a question. Anything, anything. over here behind the sides anything. would do or something? Yep. Oh, perfect. I can always Please. veto. Oh, that would be perfect. I yeah, agree. Yeah, it's sort of like that. Yeah. It's sort of like this color. So, some, so some like sort that, of range. But, all right, so we're getting there. Sorry if it's all over the place. Yes. All right, keep going. Oh, boy, stop the plug. I can't get it. It's stuck. It's like some sort of sweater-like material that is near this color. Oh, pick out some more of these blue grays. But I'm searching for all right, because we have some peaches, but there's more blue gray in there, and that's what I'm going for. I had to put it in the phone. That's fine. Oh, I have to explain everything in my head, though. That's yes, people want to know what's going through your head. But I do it a lot. Everything that I want, want me to pick out is stuck. Stuck? All right. Got it. This? Yep, so we do need a little navy. What about this? So she's now got a navy in there. Coming what about this? through. Uh, we only need a little navy. Now there's two navies, so I need more of that lighter gray-blue color. I, I, oh, I, I found more. something sort of, sort of, of what there you explained. There you go. Yep. Uh, it sort of looks like that last blanket. Hanes fleece kind of shirt. I'll I add that. I found gray-blue. So oh, far, that's what we have. Messed up. You can mess it up. I always, I'm always messing it up. And I like that. That so. is almost exact. Alright, so I think we have a good... We're missing just one color. All right, so put the shirt. Let's see what else we have in here. How about that orangey? This? Yeah, peachy shirt. There's like, oh, okay, so I'm talking about like this color right here. Okay, let me see. I can't get it out, but it's stuck. Oh, it is stuck. Okay, so we'll come back and grab that. And then she's got that. So I'm going to stop and I'm going to grab that out because that is kind of stuck on there. Alright, this is Aurora's picks. I did veto those two because they were more of a pink orange than an orange or peachy orange that we're looking for. So we're going to show on top 
we have the dress that we were looking at. I want to hold it up. Yep, hold it on. Like Mine. the whole thing like this? Yeah, so that's kind of a t-shirt material dress. I'm going to back up here. So we'll get some good material out of there, but that's the inspiration. So go ahead and set that down okay, I was on the table. Quick. All right, hold up the next. Uh, I don't know what this is. Is this a shirt or a I think it was the, the dress. So that's a t-shirt material yep. dress. It's a little thinner, but it, you know, it'll put a nice pop in there. We want just a little. Did you just put this in there? No, that was from what we just got out of the bag. All right. Yeah, I know. So do I just put it right here? Yep, put it right there and grab the next thing. I never made a YouTube video of you that yeah. was this sort of complicated. So we have this peachy orange color, peachy color. So that's more towards the orange side of it, but that's fine because it was in that flower color. All right, next. Yep, and then we're gonna go more of the- It's, it's sort of like this- A darker steel blue. It's more like a lighter. It's not that much to the gray area. Yeah, that's okay. All we have it's to an do inspiration. Is, we can always, if I all, decided, oh, let's put a pop of teal in there. I'm not going to, but. All you have to do is like add a little bit of gray, like dark gray to it probably. Yeah. The dark it and gray it up. So this is sort of like a thicker one, kind of like a work shirt. Yep. Yeah, it, has, it feels sweaty for some there reason. You know. I feel suspicious of that one. A lovely, this is like the perfect orange that she picked out. This was this the sweater that was stuck. Stuck in the corner. Yeah, I sometimes, I have to pack this tight because I get a lot of stuff in. Yeah, so, so this was the one that was in the corner. Yeah. And it, you probably didn't see it because, like, you can't fit a camera in there when you're reaching yeah. in there with the other arm. So this will get cut at a half inch because it's pretty thick. But yeah. it'll, it's lovely on the feet when you walk on these. So, well, all right, next. The hood is thicker. Next. So I'm we getting there, Mom. <laughs> So we have another, I don't know, the brand of it, but, oh, does Hanes or? Hold on. Um, it is Izod. Izod. So it's kind of like that, the fleece. We're not sponsoring fleece, any yeah. of these. No, no. But so the, so are just. It's getting chopped and sacrificed to the rug gods, so. All right, next. We got a navy blue, I see. There was some of that in the it's rug. A, it's That's a little just bit purplish a, to me. Oh, it's a tank top. Tank top. So we just need little bits of it because there wasn't a lot in there. Next. This is more of a peach peach color. Yeah, princess peach. <laughs> yeah. Mario reference. Coral peach or whatever they call it. So that one will get some nice Salmon. lengths out of that one. Salmon belly pink is and what then I call This it. will be the base. This is a big old chunk. So we're going to probably have this several spots in the rug this when we cut it up. This is the very first thing that we grabbed out of there, I think. Yep. My mom told me to take it out because... That's a pretty one, so and that's then, just a... This one was sort of close to it, but not exact. Yep. I just noticed that. All right. That's our color combination. So thank you, Miss Aurora. And I am going to start cutting this down. Aurora doesn't like to help with that, so I'm going to do that. Now it's time to cut these down. So I put these into three piles. These are the t-shirts, there's a tank top. These are all gonna get cut at an inch. That's how the width I like on those. These are the thick fleece sweaters that I said, and I think this was a, well that's a river's end. So like your Hanes, your um, Fruit of the Loom sweaters, those are all that nice fleece. Those will get cut at a half inch. This blanket, I believe, is going to be a half inch. I'm going to do a test swap on that one. So I'll cut one strip at a half inch and see if it stretches out thinner. If it does, then I'll go an inch. Um, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be a half inch, but we'll see when I start cutting. Um, I have the electric cutter, and I'll take the seams out of the big stuff, and then I'll end up using my other cutting tools. So it is all time lapse just to make it go faster. If you have questions, let me know, but generally um, you'll get the gist of the cut down process here.